Lugnaquilla is the highest mountain in Leinster and the 13th highest Irish peak. It is the highest peak in the Wicklow Mountains in Eastern Ireland and is one of Ireland's 14 mountains over 3,000 feet with an elevation of 925 metres. Parking my car where the forestry road begins I immediately pass a sign put up by the army warning of the firing range in the Glen of Imal. Unless I get lost today I will not be passing anywhere near the firing range. It's hard not to notice the amount of work going on in the forestry. There is a buzz of chainsaws and a maze of forestry roadways leading in every direction. This is the first of many junctions you're going to come across on this walk. Now, there's no indication as to which way you should go, left or right. Both roads are heading upwards, but in this instance you need to turn to the right. It's obvious a lot of people do this walk. There are signs of campsites to the left and right of the roadway, with litter and the remains of campfires visible. At this junction I need to turn to my right, heading uphill. I now come across a signpost, warning people not to use motorbikes or quad bikes beyond this point. I need to turn left here and start walking through wet boggy ground. Luckily there are railway sleepers where the ground is impassable. But don't expect to get through the day without muck on your boots. There has been rain the past few days so the ground is moist and I've sunk a few times up past my boots. As I approach this red sign I have two options. If I go straight forward I'll start to come down off the mountain so I need to turn to the left and head upwards. There is a cairn on this summit. From here Lugnaquilla is visible but does not stand out as the highest in the area. Without any navigational tools, it would be easy to go in the wrong direction from here. So I head downhill, across boggy wet ground, at times losing the path, only to find it again. There is no easy way to get across this muck. You just have to tread lightly. Oh. If you were walking Lugnaquilla for the first time, you would probably notice that a lot of the mountains around it look quite similar, so it can be difficult to navigate from what you see around you. It's not like Karen Tool or Crowpatrick where you have obvious landmarks around you. In my opinion, this is the mountain you are most likely to get lost on. Lugnaquilla is a bulky mountain with a large plateau type summit bounded on two sides by steep glacial quarries known as the North and South Prison. Lugnaquilla's proximity to the capital, Dublin, ensures that it is a frequently climbed mountain. One of the most popular approaches to Lug, as it is commonly known, is via Glen Melor, the route I am taking today. Even though I know I am close to the summit, I still cannot see it, as it is one of the few Irish mountains which does not have a cross marking its highest point. Instead, the summit is marked with what climbers call a trig point. This is a trigonometrical station used in surveying, basically a concrete pillar from which distances are measured from. From here I can see Turlock Hill. From this distance it looks like nothing more than a house but it is in fact an electricity generating reservoir built into the Wicklow Mountains. Views from the summit on a clear day extend east across the Irish Sea to the hills of the Lynn Peninsula and the mountains of Snowdonia in Wales.